the growing popularity of basketball prep programs and the increasing talent level of kids at the grassroots, super teams have officially entered the high school basketball space. And when I'm referring to super teams, I mean high school programs that are so loaded, they arguably could be college basketball teams. One of those teams is Link Academy. Based out of Branson, Missouri, the program is only three years old, but last year they won a national Geico championship. And the team has reloaded, and they're one of the most talented squads we've seen in a long time. Link's highest rated prospect is senior Trey Johnson from Dallas, Texas. The 6'6 combo guard has one of the most pro ready games we've seen in a long time. He's a lethal shooter with a quick and high release. Earlier this season, I watched him knock down six threes in one game. But Trey is so much more than just a shooter. He can create space for himself with his handle and his elite level footwork. He's a true three-level scorer who likes to operate in the mid-range as well. This makes him extremely deadly in ISO situations. And honestly, I believe his athleticism is his most underrated ability. Because he's so skilled and versatile, he doesn't really rely on his athleticism, but Trey can definitely play above the rim. He finished his last season in the Nike EYBL averaging 18.6 points, 5.6 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. Trey is currently ranked number 4 in ESPN and will be playing basketball next season at the University of Texas. At the point guard position, you have LeBaron Phylon from Mobile, Alabama. Phylon is the number one recruit out of Alabama and is ranked 35 overall according to ESPN. In my opinion, the shiftiest guard in the country. It's pretty much impossible to stay in front of him. I've seen him break down defenders time and time again. He's got a full bag, change of pace, hezzies, step backs, you name it, he can do it. He can shoot the three ball, he can score in the mid-range, and he's a very high-level playmaker. A true three-level scorer. Coaches have praised LeBaron for his balance between scoring and playmaking. He's your prototypical point guard that you want in today's modern game of basketball. Last year as a junior in Alabama, he averaged 35 points per game at his high school, winning the prestigious Mr. Basketball Award for Alabama. He'll be playing basketball next season at Kansas. Another five-star recruit in the class of 2025, Jasper Johnson from Kentucky. A consensus top 10 recruit, Jasper is a 6'4 combo guard with almost limitless range. He's a lefty with a quick release, which makes him extremely difficult to guard and a constant threat anywhere on the floor. He's also freakishly athletic with a long frame, so finishing above the rim is nothing for him. And off the dribble, he's very slippery with the basketball, and he's got a wide array of floaters that he uses in the mid-range. And Jasper is one of the most highly rated recruits in his class, with offers from schools like North Carolina, Kentucky, Kansas, and Baylor. The list is deep. Adding to an already large guard lineup, you've got 6'8", Jalen Shelley, who will be playing basketball next season at the University of Arkansas. A consensus four-star recruit in all rankings, the top 50 prospect on ESPN. Jalen attended Plano Prestonwood Christian High School as a junior, and he helped lead the team to a 26-6 record and win the TAP 6A State Basketball Championship. He was named to the first team 6A TAPS All-State and second team All-Area by Dallas Morning News, averaging 18.3 points, 6.2 rebounds, and 3.5 assists per game. He is the ninth highest ranked Razorback recruit by ESPN. At 6'8", Shelley is one of the most versatile players in the country. He's another lefty with a smooth jumper. He likes to get to the mid-range pull-up, and he can knock down the three ball. One of Link's strengths is their defense, and Shelley definitely brings his part to the table. With his length and athleticism, he has the ability to guard multiple positions. On the offensive end, he can play above the rim, and he does a good job of getting downhill. To round off Link's starting five, you've got 6'10", James Brown. From Aurora, Illinois, James will be playing basketball next season at the University of North Carolina. A versatile big man who can move and do a lot of different things with the basketball. He's been Link's inside presence this season. He's strong and can finish around and above the rim. He has the ability to knock down the three-pointer, which he showed last season in the EYBL. He can get downhill and access different footworks to score around the rim. He's got a huge defensive presence He's a frequent charge taker and shot blocker. I've seen him block shots, 
rebound the ball, and push the fast break. The ESPN Top 100 recruit was the number one junior in Illinois before he left for Link Academy last year. One of the things that makes this team so dangerous is that when the second lineup comes in, there's really no drop-off. The backup point guard is 6'4", 180-pound T.O. Barrett from Edmond, Oklahoma. As a sophomore, T.O. led his Edmond North High School team to a 24-5 record and a 6A state title. Then in his junior year, he would help Edmond North win another consecutive state championship. He scored 17 points and grabbed three rebounds in the championship game. T.O. is a winner. Rivals has him ranked in the top 150, and 24-7 Sports has him ranked in the top 100. He's a composite four-star prospect. He played EYBL with Mo Cannon League, where he averaged 10 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists a game. You might be like, Theo, 10 points isn't really that impressive. But you have to consider that he averaged 10 points on the toughest circuit in high school, the Nike EYBL, and on Mo Cannon, which is a very good program. They're usually top five every year. They actually won Peach Jam in 2022. And you have to remember that at his high school, he was the guy. In my opinion, T.O. was a defensive specialist. At least two times a game, I've seen him create steals in the backcourt, which led to easy dunks. On the offensive end, he's a highly talented passer. T.O. will be playing basketball next season at Mizzou. Link's roster also features one of the top prospects to come out of Wisconsin. 6'5", TJ Stutley. ESPN has him rated as a four-star recruit and the fourth highest-ranked prospect in the class of 2025 for Wisconsin. He averaged 16.3 points and 7.3 rebounds last season as a sophomore and helped his high school tie for the NBC championship. TJ has a big frame with a lot of game. He's got a polished mid-range pull-up, and he can post up smaller defenders at his size. This allows him to be extremely versatile as well on the defensive end. Brandon Benjamin, the 6'8 forward from New Jersey. Brandon is a high-motor, high-energy player who brings it on the defensive end. He has a great feel for the game, which allows him to get to open spots at the right time. So realistically, most Division I programs don't have multiple five-star recruits on roster. This means talent-wise on paper, Link matches up well with most college programs. Then you've got size. According to ScholarshipStats.com, the average height in NCAA men's Division I basketball is just under 6'5", and it would definitely be smaller at the D2 level. Link's starting five has an average height of 6'6". This also means on paper they would be big enough to match up against most college programs. Maybe one day during the preseason we'll see a prep program play against a college program. But until then, all we can do is speculate.